Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Toyota Camry, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Helium Pro bike rack. So the rack that we have here today can carry up to a total of two bikes. However, if you do need to carry an extra one, there's also a three bike version available as well. So what's really nice about this setup, if you do need to get inside of your trunk whenever you are carrying your bikes, it's really not a big deal. We're gonna have enough clearance to be able to do that. One of the things that really separates this rack from many of the others is that it's made from aluminum. So it's gonna be really lightweight and easy to handle. So for those of you that don't plan on keeping the rack on the back of your car for long and change it out every now and again, it's not gonna be a back-breaking task. Real lightweight, pull it right out, you can even set it up on the top shelf out of the way if you want to. The way our rack works is really simple. We're gonna have two straps here along the top tube and a strap down here. Now that's going to be an anti-sway strap. And what that's gonna do is help prevent that side to side movement. That way we don't have to worry about our bikes banging into each other as we're going down the road. That being said though, let's remove the bike so we can have a better look at the rack itself. All you're gonna to have to do is push down on these tabs and push them straps up and out of the way. Same thing for this one down here. And what I do like about this rack is the arms are gonna be relatively narrow. Some of the other racks have real wide arms and it can be kind of a struggle to work your bike off. It's really not the case with this one. Now the cradles here where a bike's frame is going to sit are somewhat adjustable and that'll accommodate different types of frames and they're also going to have a soft rubber on them. That same rubber is going to be on the bottom of the straps too. That way we don't have to worry about our bike's paint getting all scratched up whenever we have it on the rack. Now I do always recommend whenever you're not using the rack just to put your straps back in place. Now the rack is going to extend the overall length of our Camry and in this position if we measure to see how much exactly from the hatch, I'm sorry, the trunk, to the edge of the rack. Looks like it's gonna be right about 34 inches. So that's something to keep in mind when you're pulling into your garage or a tight spot. Now the arms can be folded down and that's gonna free up quite a bit of space. All we have to do is lift up on this lever. So we'll swing them down and out of the way. And if we measure again, from the trunk, Looks like this will be kind of our furthest point there. It's only going to be about 21 inches. So in this position, it's pretty compact. I really don't see it giving you any issues when you do go to pull in your garage or even that tight spot. Now we did see that we can still get into our trunk even with the rack into this position. But if we did have something large or really heavy, it might be a little tricky to have to work around our rack. But the good news is this does fold down out of the way. If we come down here to this lever, this will swing down. And then we're gonna have more than enough room to get those heavier large objects in and out with ease. So the rack is gonna work with the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Camry. But it's also gonna have the ability to work with those larger two inch by two inch hitches. That way if you have another vehicle in the household with that larger hitch, chances are pretty good the rack will work with it too. Now something that I do find really cool is how the rack is gonna be attached to the hitch. It's gonna have this clip here that pushes into the hitch and this knob. And when you tighten this knob down, it's going to act as a stabilization device, which will eliminate any play or rattle in the connection point. And that's gonna keep for a nice quiet ride on the inside of your Camry. And it's gonna be one less thing you're not going to have to keep track of as opposed to some of the other racks that use a bolt or even a traditional style hitch pin and clip this always stays with the rack so you know you're never going to lose it overall really functional and long lasting bike rack that in my opinion is going to look really sharp on the back of the camry this is our test course let's start with the slalom this shows side to side action such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, 
potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium Pro Bike Rack on our 2020 Toyota Camry.